Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. Today we continue with Biology Form 1 and uh, we are going to study uh, the cell structures as observed under an electron microscope. So the cell structures are as observed under an electron microscope. Uh, we earlier learned that an electron microscope has a higher magnification and therefore it shows more details as compared to a light microscope. So an electron microscope shows more details. compared to a light microscope. So we also looked at uh, the cell under a light microscope whereby we studied the plant cell and the animal cell as observed under the light microscope. And we were able to only uh, view a few structures here and there. When it comes to electron microscope, uh, we'll be able to view more details or more structures. So we'll start with a diagram on a plant cell as viewed under an electron microscope, then an animal cell as viewed under electron microscope. So this is a, a plant cell viewed under electron microscope. As you said, it reveals more details. This is a cell wall, cell membrane. smooth endoplasmic reticulum. We have the nucleus showing the nucleolus. And the chromosomes. We have the chloroplast, rough endoplasmic reticulum, the Gogi apparatus. mitochondrion the sap vacuole is still visible tonoplast
so and and so on and so forth so basically we can be able to view that uh, there are so many structures that are observed under uh, a an electron microscope we'll also have a diagram showing an animal cell showing more details So on the animal cell, uh, we have the cell membrane, mitochondrion, cytoplasm, we have the nucleus, having the nucleolus. and also the chromosomes the nuclear membrane Golgi apparatus rough endoplasmic reticulum on the other side we have the secretory vesicles lysosome ribosome we have the smooth endoplasmic reticulum So basically we can be able to view so many organelles. We can view the centrioles. So this is a animal cell as viewed under an electron microscope so it shows more details so both diagrams show more details of a plant cell viewed under an electron microscope uh, and the animal cell viewed under an electron microscope we have not labeled all the structures because there are many and uh, during uh, labeling our arrows should not cross each other. So it should go to the specific part and uh, uh, show with an arrow. And then we should avoid shading the diagram as much as possible. So the assignment based on this So the first question, draw a well-labeled diagram of an animal cell as observed under an electron microscope. And number two, state five differences between an animal cell and a plant cell. So the differences can be picked from uh, the two diagrams. So we are going to stop there until uh, next time. Goodbye. <laughs>